Hey Aquarius, it's me Sagittarius Soltero. I want to do your guys' May 2021 reading in regards to love and a general messages and stuff like that. Okay, uh, it's going to be just general for May, so take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate with you, um, you can always watch for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus, okay? So uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe, follow me, comment down below if you guys like it. You can follow me on my Instagram uh, at Sagittarius underscore soul underscore tarot. I have a Facebook page, it's Tarot with a capital T, and then more with a capital M. Um, as well as, you can just, you know, talk to me, communicate, all that good stuff. I like your guys' comments, so I'm going to go ahead and get into your guys' reading. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Rumi Oracle. I found these cards from this YouTuber I watch. Uh, her name's The Nutcase Network. I don't know if you guys have ever seen her, but she's hilarious. But she has so many decks of cards, and... She always inspires me to buy some, so. Okay, we have the card Arise, okay, which Sagittarius had this too. So you guys could be, like, having Aquarius, you know, um, a Sagittarius placement somewhere. But Arise, and then on the bottom, we have Merciful Mother Jamal. So let me go ahead. We have number 13 and 44. Let me grab my book and read about these. Okay. So with the rise, we have, okay, I see you in a divine wild child and sacred heart. You have gumption. You dare to love where others only see pain. You dare to believe that everything will somehow work out where others see only they will judge to be wrong. Okay, so don't lose heart, beloved wild child. Dare to believe. So a wild child, so you guys are a wild at heart. Okay, try to remain hopeful. Rise from a situation. Okay, the stars do appear to shine brighter at night. Don't become consumed by your nightmares. Okay, put a attention towards the defiant candle of hope that burns. Okay, we got number 44. This oracle brings you a message. There's a shift taking place now in a matter of great importance to you. From justice to mercy, this is your path, your destiny, and blessing. You're being granted refuge, respite, and shelter from storms of struggle and doubt. Being given a divine sanctuary of safe harbor. Okay? Being asked to take stock of your own thoughts and attitudes. Having to be tough and play hardball in the past has served its purpose. Okay? So, learning to, like, arise and let, you know, negativity leave your life. Okay? If you guys have been having a lot of night um, tears and a lot of weird dreams and stuff, letting those go. Trying to not be consumed in your thoughts anymore. Okay, which is weird because I'm an Aquarius moon and I've been having a lot of weird nightmares. In the month of April, I've been having really bad ones. So I feel like you guys are starting to, you know, overcome something. Okay, buy the book in reverse. Okay, not taking it safe anymore. Just kind of letting life go through and do, you know, its purpose. Not playing it safe. Just kind of letting things go naturally. Not, you know, putting things in a strategic order. Okay, community in the reverse. Maybe kind of... In May, you guys could be kind of not really caring about what people in your community think, okay? Not wanting to be like other people is what I'm seeing here now in the reverse, okay? Wanting to kind of be different. Now, I feel like you guys are wanting to stand out a lot in May. Kind of show people your true colors, who you are. Not wanting to be like other people. You want to, which that's um, Aquarius' sign anyways. You guys are meant to be unique and stand out. But you guys are really going to be showing yourself, I feel like, in May. You guys are wanting to not be like other people, Okay, be like a surprise to people, not really show people, you know, not want to be like other people and stuff. Okay, it's kind of hard to explain, but a time to give rather than to take, New Moon and Virgo. Okay, you guys are wanting to take, you know, time to your, to give to yourself and to take. Okay, hold your, have faith in your dreams. Okay, so have faith in your dreams. Better things are coming for you when you guys like stand out and want to be yourself. Okay, take more time for Give more time to yourself than to others is what I'm seeing. Okay, firm foundation in the reverse and truth in the reverse. Still having a hard time in May kind of seeing where you stand with a situation. Okay, having a hard time building yourself back up. And not realizing some kind of truth here. Okay, or not acknowledging it. Okay, movement, choices, decisions. Not wanting to move forward in some way. So then you're not... Wanting to deal with financial material changes. Something that could be, you know, difficult in your life here. Financially, maybe some changes like a new job or you're moving somewhere. 
We also have conflict and defeat after that. But I feel like then there is going to be the sun here, the light. There is going to be happiness coming through after, you know, a time of crisis, a time of things not seem like they're coming together. There is going to be, you know, things coming for you. Let's go ahead and get you an angel message. Okay, Aquarius, let's get you an angel mess. Okay, we got two here. So we have number eight, I am successful. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Okay, so the flow, infinite loop of creation. And we have two, two, two. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are, nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. I am balanced. Balancing out your um, balancing out yourself to be successful, making sure that you're flexible in all areas of your life. Okay, I am powerful. Three, three, three on the bottom. Your sp use your spiritual gifts. A light worker. Okay, or like helping humanity. Okay, maybe there's with the community in reverse. Maybe your community needs you, but you haven't been. A like acknowledging that your community needs you. Something about community. People around you, maybe you don't know that they need help. Okay? Or that, you know, there's something you have to do in your community. But not acknowledging it. Worth waiting for. In regards to love, you have something worth waiting for. Getting to know each other in the reverse. Let's get like one more. Okay, hard to conversations in the reverse. So it's somebody that you've been waiting for. Somebody that you've been dealing with here currently. I feel like, or someone that you've already know. But you guys haven't really had this conversation, okay? Or you guys have been, like, avoiding this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, but I feel like you guys are waiting for it, okay? Or this is worth waiting for this conversation with let your friends help you. You could need a lot of guidance about this situation with this person. You're not sure what to do. So you might be reaching out to your friends a lot in May. But I feel like if there's a conversation with somebody that you kind of already know, you know, I feel like that is going to happen. Let's see what signs could be, like... Um, signs or planets could be, you know, in your energy in May. We have Virgo. Okay, we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, we have Capricorn, so a lot of Earth. We have Leo and then the Sun after that. On the other side, we have Sagittarius and Taurus and Saturn. Okay? So on the top, we have Sagittarius and Taurus. And then Leo and the Sun on the bottom. As well as Pluto. So, like, you know, things ending out. Cycles ending out with people. Okay? But you could be doing a lot of Earth energy. Or have a lot of Earth placements in your chart. Okay? Let's go ahead and see what happened in the past. For Aquarius, in regards to love, what happened in the past. And I am using the Wizard of Oz tarot. So I'm super excited. Let's see what happened in the past. Let's get two more shuffles. Let's get one more. What happened in the past for Aquarius? Okay. Okay. The Emperor, King of Cups. Somebody here that you had a lot of feelings for. Okay, very passionate about, very determined to make it work. Okay, maybe you felt like this was somebody that you were meant to be with. You had a lot of emotions for them. Had a hard time leaving them the Five of Pentacles reverse. Had a hard time walking away. Okay, I feel like you're trying to remain hopeful in the past, in the situation, giving your energy to somebody, okay? Um, we have the Two of Wands, Two of Swords, Empress Reverse, Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords Reverse, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Death Reverse, Hangman. Okay, so we have, um, we have Libra, um, Pisces and Scorpio here, we have Air, Earth, and Fire. Okay, so I feel like what happened here is like you were trying to remain hopeful about a situation or you're stuck. Okay, you were stuck with something that didn't have any growth. You weren't really sure where things were headed. You were mentally stuck as well as physically stuck as well. Taking a lot of time thinking about the situation, trying to figure out what to do, how to handle it. Still giving your time and energy into somebody here, but there's a lot of stuck energy, not sure where to move forward. Okay, it's like there was communication maybe, but there wasn't much communication. Okay, you've seen the potential where maybe you invested a lot of time into this. It had, like, where it could have had potential. You didn't want to end this. But there wasn't a whole lot of growth. Okay? Somebody here maybe was younger, too. Because I have, you know, some younger energy. The Page of Swords. So maybe somebody was very, 
you know, like immature with how they communicated or they're just very, they're younger in general. I could have been it. Okay, but I feel like this, you know, you didn't want to end this situation, whatever it was. You still were giving your time to it, but you were kind of stuck, not sure what to do. So why is the two of wands here in the past for Aquarius? Okay, Knight of Wands reverse and the Magician reverse. You felt stuck because, you know, you didn't want to keep putting your energy into something that was very, like, inconsistent, okay? You didn't want things to be inconsistent with the situation, but you felt like you were out of control. There was nothing you could have done, okay? And that's what made you upset was, like, there was nothing you could have done. You felt like I had a standstill with the Magician here reverse, okay? Coming in with the Gemini. We have the Empress. You saw that this had potential, but it left you in your head all the time, okay? It left you feeling stuck because it had... Something you were growing, something you had potential with, with the Four of Wands after that. You've seen where this could have been something good, okay? Or it was something good, but it was just a lot of not sure where things were headed. A lot of stuck energy. Two of Swords, not wanting to see something clearly. Okay, with the Temperance Reverse and the Two of Pentacles, not realizing that this back and forth energy of this person gives you, you know, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of emotional imbalances this person makes you really upset and angry okay there's a lot of back and forth not sure where you stand with this person a lot of things you don't understand a lot of things you don't see two of wands reverse and the nine of swords reverse i feel like you're coming to a sense of not wanting to be you know stressed about this connection anymore all right let's get the empress reverse all right with the king of swords reverse and the chariot reverse there's no forward movement with this person there's not much communication or you guys aren't wanting to have this you know, straightforward conversation to move things forward. Could have been doing like um a cancer here. But there's just a lack of things moving in the same direction. A lot of feeling like you're ghosted or ignored by this person. Feeling like you just can't get on the same page. Alright. Queen of Pentacles, maybe you saw this person as being somebody for you. It's very nurturing and stable. Okay. Somebody that, you know, had potential to be your partner. Okay, the five of swords though and the seven of pentacles. You know, this person was kind of, you know, playing games. They weren't really being 100% honest. Or you feel like there's a lot of, you know, things that this person was hiding, a lot of things that they were setting you up for. It's like you still were willing to give this person a chance and work on things, but there's a lot that they were hiding from you or not being completely honest about. Okay, the Queen of Cups reverse and the Three of Pentacles reverse. Five of Pentacles, this person made you feel, you know, like you weren't, you know, appreciated. You felt like you weren't. They weren't wanting to work on this. They wanted to make you feel alone a lot of the time. Made you feel like you just weren't. Or they just didn't have the feelings for you. Okay, the Four of Swords reverse. Wheel of Fortune, Four of Pentacles. Still remaining hopeful in the past. That things are going to be better. You know, that there's going to be the right time. Still holding on to the faith here of like what to do in the situation. Still remaining hopeful. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. You feel like this is your person. This is the person you're destined to be with. So you're still remaining hopeful and holding on to this, thinking maybe if I just give this some chance, you know, a chance, give this some time, maybe things will come together, you know? Six of Pentacles. I feel like you, you know, wanted to give to this person a lot, your time and energy. Okay, Nine of Pentacles reversed. It's like almost like you're kind of dependent on this person, Ace of Pentacles, to help you, like, in some way. Like, this person was, you feel like they were destined to help you. That's why you're still giving to this. You feel like they were the person that was there to... Be kind of your lending hand, the person to help you, help you grow in some way. You feel like you guys could have had this really good connection together. Okay, with the Ace of Cups, there's a lot of love here. Six of Cups reversed, somebody from your past you kept dealing with. Okay, repeated person, or you've known them for a long time, but things never really became, you know, clear what you wanted. But you definitely wanted to be with this person and have some kind of commitment. Okay, with the Page of Swords, I feel like there is, you know... A little bit of communication, but not much. Yeah, the devil reverse, king of pentacles reverse. Not really sure where you stand with this person. Not really sure where the stability is, if this person's honest, if they're going to be there for you. If it's just something you need to let go of. Could have been a Capricorn. Something that, you know, you want to realize that there is some kind of karmic situation happening here. There's something kind of toxic or you don't want to hold on to any toxicity in this connection. Ten of Cups, you want things to be... You know, loving, you know, you want to have, like, a fun relationship, happiness with this person. And that's what you see. Okay, that's what you're wanting. Since this person not really giving it to you, though. All right, the death reverse. Okay, the sun reverse, and I have cups. Some, something about this situation that makes you unhappy because you still want to give yourself to this person romantically. You still want to give them, 
you know, the love, even though you're a little unhappy and things aren't really going how you want them to. Okay, Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords. This person repeatedly hurts you, makes you upset, but you still show them love and affection. You still want to give to them, which is great, but it's not good that they treat you this way. They leave you feeling stuck with the hangman here. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Seven of Wands, still fighting for this connection. But I feel there's a lot you don't understand or a lot you don't know still about this connection. A lot of things that aren't being, you know, told to you. And you're stuck because you feel like there is definitely, this card keeps coming out. You feel like this person is meant to be, you know, the person for you. The person you're meant to be married to or have success with. Have a happy family, happy life with. I feel like you're very determined to make this work. But there's still a lot of hidden things that you don't know about this connection or a lot of things that aren't expressed to you. Could have been a cancer you're dealing with. Okay? Just a lot of stuck energy. A lot of, how do I move forward? Okay? Let's go ahead and see currently what's going on with you guys in love, Aquarius. Okay? Which I feel like I relate to this reading, like I said, because I'm an Aquarius moon. So I feel like I kind of relate to this too in regards to love. I just don't really know where I stand with people. You know? Sometimes, like, when you watch readings and it doesn't resonate with your sun sign, usually, like, the moon sign is the next one that it resonates with. Okay, so if you guys aren't, like, an Aquarius sun, but you're an Aquarius moon, I would totally watch this. Okay? See what's going on currently for Aquarius and love. Okay? Hmm. Alright, overall, Queen of Wands, Reverse, Three of Cups, Seven of Cups. A lot of confusion still, a lot of kind of giving up. In the current moment, kind of giving up, not really sure if you want this anymore. Maybe seeing if you want to be with other people. Maybe you're kind of wondering if you should just date around and see other people. Okay, we got Four of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, the Eight of Swords reversed, Page of Swords again, Two of Cups reversed, Ten of Cups reversed, King of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Wanting to maybe realize that there's a disconnect with you and this person, okay, in regards to this connection. All right, there's some kind of disconnect. I feel like you kind of need to let this go. Like you still want to have communication, but you're kind of not wanting to feel stuck in this energy anymore. Not really wanting to give to this is what I'm seeing. Okay, you could be just wanting to date around and see other people, even though you don't really want to be single. The Nine of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you don't want to be single, but you feel like that's like the only option for you right now is just to be with yourself, even though if you're not completely happy. Okay. Why is the Four of Pentacles here in the reverse? Letting something go, not holding on to something as much anymore. Eight of Wands. Okay, Three of Wands reverse. Okay, I feel like you are getting, like, you know, communication from somebody, but you're not really waiting around for it anymore. You're not really waiting for, you know, this person. Okay, yeah, maybe you'll communicate with them, message them back, but I don't really feel like you're waiting anymore for this person. Okay, there's a sense of not really wanting to hold on to this anymore. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Let's see. Still feeling, you know, the, yeah, Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Feeling like you need to get your money back in check because you feel insecure with your money. Maybe because you are, like, married to this person or with them, you feel like you've lost money because of this relationship. A sense of slowly trying to get yourself back together, but not really. I feel like you're still putting in the work, but you're having a hard time. It's like a struggle for you to, like, get yourself back together financially. I feel like you're really going from the ground, you know, roll down below, and you're trying to really work hard and... You know, not losing the motivation, but it's, like, taking you a while to get there. Okay? You feel maybe like you're just not meant to be, you know, by yourself. Alright, Eight of Swords reverse in the current moment. I feel like you're letting go of something. Okay, Knight of Cups and Ten of Wands reverse. Letting go of whatever, like, burdens you had in a relationship. Okay? I feel like you're letting stress go. And there could be love coming into your life. Okay? With the Strength reverse. Not, like holding back anymore from love. There could be a love offer coming in, maybe a, a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces here, after a time of letting this go of this other situation. Okay, Three of Pentacles. I do feel like maybe you are seeing other people or willing to, like, see where it goes with other people. So let's see. Two of Pentacles reverse and the Ace of Cups reverse. But I feel like you're going to drop somebody as soon as you feel like there's not much love there, there's not potential, or you're not fulfilled, you're going to drop somebody. Okay, I feel like you are maybe seeing two people while I'm currently, and you feel like you need to drop somebody that you don't feel like that happiness with. Yeah, three of pentacles reverse, five of pentacles leave somebody. There's somebody you're wanting to walk away from in the current moment, okay? Ten of cups reverse. Okay, ace of pentacles, nine of swords. 
you know, knowing that there's like this broken relationship, broken situation, wanting to work on something here, have a new stability, a new beginning, but it's scaring you. Maybe it's scaring you starting over after a time of something being separated. Four of Cups reverse. It's like you're still open to love even after a time of being hurt, but you're scared and worried and having anxiety about it. Like, man, what if the same situation happens all over again? What if I'm, you know, in the same situation where I'm, I fall in love with somebody, want a family with them, and then they do me the same way? Okay? I feel like you are getting some kind of communication from somebody with the Page of Swords. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Somebody that wants to invest into this and make it work. Okay, somebody that sees this as being a successful relationship. Some of they want to have, you know, they have a lot of um, pride into it. Some of the, somebody sees you as being someone they're really appreciative of. Okay, they really appreciate you. They really feel like you have potential. Okay, that there is potential in this relationship. But I feel like you're worried about it with the Nine of Swords. You're, like, stressing. Okay, yeah, Wheel of Fortune, Reverse, Page of Pentacles. You're not really sure if the timing's right for this. Maybe if you're even healed completely from a past situation. Okay, I feel like you're still wanting to, you know, accept someone's offer. Or you're offering something, but you're not really sure if the timing's right. Or if you're meant to be with this person. Okay, the King of Pentacles, Reverse. High Priestess, okay, being kind of secretive. The Hermit, Reverse. Could we know the Pisces or a Virgo. Okay, there's a sense of being kind of secretive about your intentions. Okay, it's like you kind of know like what your soul wants and right now you feel like this this not much stability with the situation. Okay, but you're keeping that kind of secretive to yourself, not really telling this person, you know, this is how you feel. Alright, let's do the two of cups reverse. Okay, the ace of wands reverse. And the king of pentacles reverse. So separation right now with the person that you felt like was your twin flame, a person very powerful. You feel like there's no not much motivation anymore to make this work. There's not any stability. Okay, you feel like there's not much any any passion or desires to like make this work. It's a really disconnected energy currently. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what's in the near future for Aquarius. What's in the near future in regards to love for Aquarius? Let's get five shuffles. Okay, that one wanted to come out. Let's do four more. And that was the judgment reverse. Okay. Let's get three more. Okay, two more. Hopefully, if it doesn't rain, bed. Alright, let's see what else is going on. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Overall, we got the magician, okay, the hermit, um, wanting to manifest things into your life, okay, that make you feel good. Gemini, Virgo, energy, king of cups, emotionally, emotionally wanting to, in the near future, I feel like it's kind of up to you, like, what you actually desire, what you're wanting, putting the work into some kind of love situation, okay, I feel like it's in your... It's on you, pretty much. Okay, we got the Judgment Reverse, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups Reverse, Temperance Reverse, Ace of Pentacles Reverse, um, the Emperor, Knight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Justice Reverse. Okay, could be done with a Scorpio. We got Leo, a Fixed Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, okay, Earth Energy, Water here. There's a sense of in the near future, not really sure if things are destined to be together. Okay, there's like new things coming in for you, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, not feeling fulfilled romantically or emotionally in some way. Feeling kind of imbalanced, maybe you've been working too much, you're the Eight of Pentacles, or you're working a lot in the near future. Trying to get yourself back together slowly but surely, taking action with the Knight of Pentacles, Emperor. Really destined to, like, work on yourself here. So a little bit of imbalances in your life, things you need to work on, things that aren't coming together. Okay, things that don't really have potential. But I feel like there is luck on your side with the Wheel of Fortune, better things are going to happen. Okay, but we'll clarify that in a minute. Let's go ahead and get two more shuffles of these. Okay, something that I feel like you need to realize you need to let go of. Alright, let's go ahead and get the judgment reverse. I'm almost done. Give me one second. I'm almost done. Judgment reverse. Alright, eight of cups reverse. 
and the Ten of Wands. Something is still weighing on you heavily that you can't walk away from. Okay, and it's like you're having to make a hard over mind decision. Like, okay, should I leave this? This is just too painful, but you're having a hard time walking away. With the Knight of Pentacles, you're still, you know, slowly coming into something, offering somebody something. All right, with the Eight of Pentacles. Let's see here in the near, near future. Still working on something or determined to. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords Reverse. Still wanting to, I feel like, work on yourself and heal yourself as well to have prosperity and better things coming. Still remaining hopeful and positive. Okay, Knight of Cups is still as given to, you know, somebody here romantically. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. All right, let's do the Nine of Cups reverse. But there's something here you're just not feeling completely happy about emotionally. Okay, Five of Swords, still feeling like, yeah, Five of Cups, Five of Swords, feeling like people are out against you. People are, you know, playing games on you, not being completely honest. Okay, Knight, King of Pentacles reversed. Feeling like there's something unstable in your life that's not coming together. Feeling a lot of guilt about your past or something here that somebody set you up. Something that somebody set you up about something here in the near future. Or they're going to set you up with a situation where you're going to feel like a lot of guilt and a lot of stress about. Or something that make you feel guilty for how something didn't work out. Alright, let's do the Wheel of Fortune. Alright, Knight of Cups, Four of Swords. After a time out, you are going to have this person coming in for you that's meant to be with you, the Knight of Cups. Someone very romantic. But it's like you have to take a break on yourself and wait for the time to be right. Okay? Could be a water sign coming towards you. The Queen of Swords, Page of Wands. Somebody that is very determined to, you know, feel passionate about you and tell you how they feel. Someone that's very honest and loyal. Okay? Let's go and get the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles, Reverse Knight of Pentacles. Working yourself back together slowly but surely after a time of feeling unmotivated. So there's a situation not feeling like, you know, you're wanting to work on to, okay, work with. But there's forward movement with the Chariot and the Two of Wands. Forward movement, but feeling a little stuck with the Hangman after that. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the Temperance reversed. Okay, the Emperor, taking back yourself, the Ten of Pentacles Emperor. So after a time of feeling imbalanced, you're working on yourself, okay? Trying to get yourself back together financially, having success and abundance. I see a lot of motivation, a lot of efforts here of trying to fix yourself. You know, after a time of feeling like you're losing money, okay, maybe because of a commitment you feel like you lost money or you're losing fortune or something of, of um, stability here. But I feel like you're trying to build that back up. Justice reverse. Could have been like a separation. Or diver div diverse, a divorce with somebody and you feel like you've lost a lot of money and you're having to rebuild yourself and get your money back in check. Okay, but the Wheel of Fortune here and the Eight of Swords reverse. After you get out of your head, better things are coming of the situation. Try not to feel stuck or trapped that the situation's not getting better. Because I feel like, you know, luck is on your side. Things are going to get better with the Wheel of Fortune. Six of Wands, Six of Swords. After a sense of walking away from something... Letting something go, luck is on your side, better things are coming in the near future. Okay, let's go into the Emperor. High Priestess, okay? As well as the Knight of Swords, a lot of communication coming in, but being kind of secretive. Of, it's almost 11, hold on. After a time of feeling kind of secretive, you are going to want to have a discussion with somebody, very determined to have a discussion, but making sure that you can trust this person and it's the right discussion at the right time. Okay, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, making sure that it's something worth investing into, something that you feel passionate about, something you desire. Okay, let's do the Ace of Pentacles, Reverse. Okay, Nine of Swords, Queen of Wands, Reverse, feeling like you're losing motivation in some kind of effort for yourself, okay? Losing motivation, having anxiety and stress about something, okay? Maybe something you feel like you defeated on, okay? Defeated on your um, money or something here. But overall, we do have the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands reverse, okay? Trying to heal a broken relationship. I feel like it is going to come back together, and you are going to have the success in abundance, okay? So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks, guys.